everybody, welcome to Embrace the Suck, our video cast for Elevate OCR, where the mission is to make stronger people by overcoming obstacles. Today is Workout Wednesday, and I'm going to revisit the five-minute workout challenge, uh, or workout habit, as I like to call it. So this is the five-minute, anywhere, anytime workout that you can do on an everyday basis, regardless of whatever else is going on in your life, right? A lot of times you can't get to the gym, the kids are doing stuff, family's doing stuff, you're traveling, all kinds of interruptions are going to get in the way of you going and getting a consistent workout. But this is a five minute foundation habit that you can build in and always have whenever you need it. I recommend doing this in the morning. And why? It's because when you start physical activity, get your body ready for more physical activity, get you in that mindset. Uh, when you see something, hey, how can I make that harder? How can I make that more challenging? Things like that. So we get this five minute uh, thing that we can do anytime. So here's what I do. All right, I do about a minute of stretching, get the arms stretched out, get the legs stretched out. You know the, you know the thing, stretch out. This is mobility. Things like that. I think my camera's going down on me. There we go. Hey guys. So we got mobility, we got stretching, we got all kinds of things. That's flexibility, it's pliability, things like that. You want to make sure you keep that up. Then beyond that, we've got body weight. So I do this. I do one minute. So 60 seconds of however many push-ups I can do. Every day I have a count of what I've done the day before trying to hit that number or I'm trying to exceed that number. doesn't matter if your count is 5 or 7 or 24 or 62. Do real push-ups, real form, all right, and see how many you can do in one minute. That's a great way. It's core strengthening, it's arm strengthening, it's working on upper body strength. So I start with that one minute, then I go into another stretch for about another 30 seconds. I stretch out the hip flexors on the ground. I reach uh, in front of me while I got my legs crossed so I reach to the side and back. Then I do about a minute of abs. I do 60 flutter kicks and about 20 crunches. All right, You can start with whatever you want to do but you can do about a minute and a half of those abs. And then I finish with about a minute of stretching again. So more than half of my workout in my five minutes is stretching. All right, You don't need to push it all the time. Stretching, Pliability, flexibility, those are really important things to health and strength. So I get my minute of push-ups, I max my reps, I get my minute, it's a minute and a half, however long it takes me to do my flutter kicks and my reverse crunches. And I get up after that five minutes and I'm energized, I'm pumped up, I'm ready to do anything that the day is gonna bring me. Uh, and if that's all I get to do in the day of physical activity and working out, I've given my body something. I've gotten my heart rate up a little bit, I've pushed my muscles, I've opened them up to more oxygen, uh, and it's a healthy start, it's a healthy way to do it. So that's my five minutes. Tell me what your five minutes is. Uh, post it up uh, on a comment. You got a video of you doing your five minutes, even better, post it up. But consistency is a key. Do this every single day, whatever your five minutes is. It's your time, make it your habit. That's it for me today. See you guys soon, I'm out.